Hello everybody, this is Rob. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be talking about a new game called Toxic. So this is a newer arena shooter that came out recently on Steam's Early Access. It is a lot like Unreal Tournament. It's a bit like Quake. It is a fast-paced game dealing mainly with weapons and weapon pickups and power-ups. One of the new things in this game is a stealth, however, so you can hit a button and go invisible or almost invisible for about two seconds, which is pretty handy for trying to get away. If you get a bad spawn, you can run away to a better position or grab a weapon. So what I'm going to do is take you guys through the weapons that are in the game. This is all of them with the exception of the impactor, which is a melee weapon that is not there yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get a game hosted here, and I can show you guys each of the weapons in the game currently. And after that, we can jump into a real game and show you how this game plays. So your starting gun is the Raven. This is a pistol with a moderate rate of fire. It does about 25 damage per shot, and also has a burst fire on the right click. I kind of go back and forth on which one I'm using in a fight, all depending. After that, we have the Bullcraft, which is a shotgun. The primary fire shoots 6 pellets, the alternate fire shoots 12. The alternate fire is enough to kill almost anybody if you get them with it point blank. You pretty much have to have full health and armor max to survive that. After that you have the Violator, which is a machine gun, which is pretty standard, it's rather accurate. The right click on it lobs grenades. Uh, these go until they hit something and they do over 100 damage, I don't know exactly how much, but they will kill someone on spawn. After that, you have the Falcon, which is a sniper rifle. Pretty basic stuff. You got a zoom on it, although I hardly ever use the zoom. This game is just too fast-paced to be zooming in on an object for too long, so typically you're better off just firing it without zooming. Next up is the Stingray, which is a pulse rifle that shoots little balls that do about 20 damage. The right click on it shoots a beam that does about 40 damage and can also headshot for about 120 damage, I believe. Next is this flamethrower called the Dragoner. It's a pretty standard flamethrower, however, the right click does charge a projectile. So it shoots a ball of fire that uh, will travel infinitely until it hits something. It does quite a lot of damage, uh, probably about 150, 175 or so, um, and it's pretty good. Next up is the rocket launcher, which is pretty standard as far as rocket launchers in games go. Um, one thing, however, with this is they did nerf the damage recently, which does allow you to do some rocket jumping for much less damage than you used to take. Um, that right there only hurt me 10 damage, but I did have 15 armor. However, without armor, you can normally get away with under 20 damage on a rocket jump. Lastly, we have the Hellraiser, which is basically the Redeemer from Unreal Tournament, um, pretty much exactly. So, left click shoots a little mini nuke thing, right click lets you drive that missile around and uh, hopefully take out more people. The one thing, if you use a low mouse sense, this is very difficult to control while flying it. Um, just something to keep in mind. But as far as the weapons go, that's going to pretty much finish everything up as far as weapons in the game right now. I don't expect there to be many other weapons in this game uh, down the line, but let's get into some actual gameplay. So with this, the first thing you're probably going to notice is this green circle moving around now. This is from the SteelSeries Sentry, which is a eye tracker. Um, so it's basically a bar you mount under the monitor and it can see exactly where on screen you're looking. Um, I've been using it a lot during when I'm streaming on Twitch and whatnot. That way, as anyone else is watching, they can kind of see what you're looking at. I think it's pretty neat. Um, I probably will try and upload a couple videos, just, uh, just straight gameplay videos so you can see a bit more of this. We'll see what happens. But uh, So we're going to jump into this game from the start here. This is a free-for-all game. There is currently only free-for-all and team deathmatch in the game. They will be adding a mode with vehicles later on, as well as capture the flag and control point kind of stuff. Uh, really your standard multiplayer games anymore. But as you can see with the movement in this game, you have a dodge like you have in Unreal Tournament. You can jump after dodging to do a dodge jump, which is pretty much the fastest way to move around. On top of that, you have a wall dodge, and you can jump and then wall dodge and then jump again and really clear a whole lot of space in a short time. 
To do a dodge, you would just double tap in any direction, or in this game, you can use shift, and that will do a dodge in whichever direction you're going currently. So aside from all the weapon power-ups, this game also has the two different uh, super pickups, which is the Mega Health and the Armor. Um, so there's a plus 100 health, which is right here. And then over towards where I was showing you the weapons before, there is a Mega Armor. Um, down here, there's a smaller armor, which gives you 50 shields. And uh, that's about it as far as the super spawns in this map. So here we're going to jump on top of this dumpster and then wall dodge off of the wall in order to get up to this armor. There's a bit simpler way you'll see later which you can elevator jump off of a lift uh, over by where the rocket launcher spawns. Something else interesting about the armor is I don't know if this is intended or not, but if you pick the 50 armor up first and then get the 100, you do get 150 armor. But if you grab the 100 armor first, it will not let you pick that 50 armor up until you drop below 100 armor again. I'm not sure if it's a bug or how they plan on having it work, but in the current build of the game, that is how it's working. Another thing you're going to notice is that the weapon bases do show how long until that weapon respawns again. By default, the weapons take about 15 seconds to come back up, so if you see it's going to be a little bit, you can grab some health or ammo or whatever you may need at the time and then swing back around to get it. Any of the larger pickups, like the Mega Health or the Armor, do not show that, so it's kind of up to you to time those if you want. And those respawn in about 57 seconds, so you can really just add 2 or 3 seconds to the timer and just swing back in the next minute. So that guy just feigned death, you can tell just because you can hear the raggles normally don't make noise when you kill people. Um, however, the hitboxes when you're on the ground like that are kind of ridiculous and I couldn't even hit him with the pistol. Obviously people shooting you kind of takes priority, but that would work for him there. So that is an option in this game, you can hit a button and you can just fake death. Uh, however, I did just get him there once he tried to get away, so. So that's going to wrap this game up and hopefully give you guys an impression on uh, what this is like. There is currently only this one map in the early access stage. Uh, they're adding more, I guess, within a week or so, I believe. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But there's also going to be a mode of vehicles, and uh, we don't really know too much about that yet. So we'll see how this develops. So far, I'm rather enjoying it. Hopefully, if you guys want to get it, maybe you'll see me around. So that's about that.